Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, I thought he was very competitive. Uh, I thought he, he tackled well. I thought he came up well in the run game and on some of the short passes. Um, you know, he helped us out there. Um, you know, I thought there were some good throws and good catches on him. Um, you know, and we'll just continue to talk about, you know, working to finish and, you know, you're in good position, you know, and just try to make them make a great catch by, you know, ripping the ball out. So, you know, but I thought he did some good things and obviously there's some things that, you know, we'll try to build on and some things that we'll work on too as well. Well, I, you know, our, our, we have a great group of guys. They come in and work, and, uh, you know, they, uh, they try to improve their uh, skill set on a daily basis. And each guy, you know, whether, you know, you may start out a lot in uh, the game plan or you may not be a huge part of it, you know, we try to prepare everybody to play a 60-minute game, whether you're on the roster, practice squad, um, so I think that's always the approach, and I think when guys get their opportunities, you know, uh, you know, to make the most of them is what they're trying to do. Sure, I, I think it's important to Noah. I think you know he cares deeply about it. He cares about his craft. He cares about the team. Um, so. You know, and I think that that shows up in his work ethic, you know, on the practice field, um, you know, and he, he's always given us a good day's work. And, you know, I think when he has chances for opportunities, uh, we'll see growth there. Again, I think the more he sees and the more experience he has, you know, um, the, you know, he, he has some playmaking ability. Um, you know, obviously there's things that we, we need to work on uh, with him, but, uh, you know, it's a growth process, and I think, you know, it's trending in the right direction for sure. Sure, and, there, and there's a lot on his plate from a communication standpoint and, you know, making sure that we're lined up correctly. And, um, you know, and I, I think once he has a better understanding and I think he's get, gaining that on a daily basis and he works very hard at it, um, I think you're seeing some of his just natural ability kind of take over. Well, I, th I think in all, all phases of defense right now, I think whether it's run defense, pass defense, or uh, pass rush, I think what we're striving for is we're seeing some good things and we're just looking for more consistency uh, at that. So, uh, you know, and obviously, you, you know, we got, we got to coach it better. And, um, but, um, you know, like I said, our guys are working hard and, um, you know, we're excited for the opportunity this week. We got a, we got a good opponent coming uh, at us this week. Arthur Smith does a, a phenomenal job uh, with these Falcons. Uh, they run a lot of different multiple personnel groupings. They're one of the most balanced teams in the league, run pass, um, and they're going to do it at a different personnel grouping. So it'll be a big challenge for us this week, which we're all excited about. Yeah, Ra Raekwon, you know, he's a good football player. He he's a diligent worker, and, you know, we're excited to have him out there, and he, he definitely does some good things for us, uh, you know, as a total defense. So, yeah, we're, we're glad we got him. Um, well, you know, I, I think I, I would assume you're referring to the, the fourth and eighth play. Um, you know, I mean, well, well, I mean, you know, so we end up in that situation and obviously we want to keep them out of field goal range and we want to get off the field defensively to give ourselves a chance to go to overtime uh, in that particular situation. Uh, the first down, you know, we're in an aggressive run call. Uh, second down, 
Uh, we were, were playing for pass. They tried to run a screen. We got the sack there. Um, the third down situation, we really wanted to keep him out of field goal range, make him throw it in front of us and tackle us. Nick Needham did a good job on that. And then the fourth and five, you, you know, or excuse me, with five seconds left to go, um, you know, there's multiple things that you're trying to cover there. Um, you don't want to give them a one-on-one -on -one situation where they can just throw it up on the, uh, on the edge. You don't want to give them a sideline, um, you know, whether it's a back shoulder like we saw earlier in the game or, or a seven route or that situation. And obviously, you know, how much time do they have to catch it, give it up and get nine yards? Um, you, know, you know, again, could we have played it a little bit better? Probably, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, we were defending a lot of things and it just didn't go our way. Yeah. They can do either, so that's what I'm saying. You're, you're, you're covering, you're covering that. You're covering the deep throw. You know, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of different ways that they can attack it. You know, and um, you know, again, credit them. They made a play. They executed it. Um, so it, it didn't work out our our way. Um, and you know, that, that that's kind of what happened there. Well, it was fourth and eight, so they had to get nine yards. Um, yeah, I mean, th th that's a, you know, it's a risky proposition for them too, you know, um, you know, and I'm sure they had, you know, hey, do we throw it deep? Do we throw it outside? Do we throw it inside? Um, we were trying to defend all those things. Um, and like I said, it, it credit them, they executed um, and it didn't go our way. Um, you know, I think that probably, you know, it's one of those things that, yeah, like the shorter the distance, obviously the less time, you know, and, um, you know, that's one of those things I would say, obviously we had a long flight back. Uh, that's something that I've replayed, you know, in my head over and over again. Um, you know, I mean, there's probably a couple things that we, we could have, the call was the call. We probably could have executed it a little bit better or coached it a little bit better, put it that way. Our, our players were doing what was called. And, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, credit Jacksonville. Um, you know, they executed it within the time frame that they had to execute it, and it just didn't go our way. Uh, you, yes, you, you can, but like once he declares himself down, it doesn't matter whether Brandon touches him or not, they'll declare him down. So that that's kind of the situation by rule there. They called it immediately, yes. 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 So that, that was... Um, yeah, that's what, you know, like I said, credit them. That was good execution on their part. I mean, obviously it didn't go our way and, you know, and like I said, you know, obviously, you know, none of us were happy with the outcome, but, you know, again, I don't think anybody in this organization is going to be poor me. Uh, you know, we, we are all trying to get ready to go this week. We, we got a big challenge in front of us and we're all excited for that. So, and that's, kind of the direction we're moving. Sorry. Go ahead. Or whoever. Yeah, I, there was a couple of things that, that went into that. Um, you know, so at the end of the game, we were playing for one thing. Um, you know, after the timeout, that they kind of reconfigured and went to something else. So we went to a different call. Um, you know, so 
again, like I said, I, I would credit them for good execution, and you know, it, it just it, it didn't go our way. Well, I think you always have to take accountability. I mean, our, our record is what it is. Um, so, you know, and then obviously, you know, I, I don't think that it's not a matter of work. Um, you know, we just need to, you know, coach it to the best of our abilities to get our players in better positions um, and do it for 60 minutes or for however long the game goes. And, um, you know, I, you know, we are where we are. But like I said, like there, there's not a, oh, hey, this is a, uh, you know, poor me or poor us. Like, you know, we're, we're going to move forward. You know, I mean, this is, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody's, you know, down in, in, in the tank here. Like we're, we're going to work hard and we're excited for the opponent that we have this week. We know they're very good. They have a very good scheme. They run multiple personnel groupings. And like I said, Arthur Smith is uh, very good at what he does and they're very balanced run pass. So, uh, you know, We've got a challenge in front of us, and like, you know, again, that's why if, if you want to go all the way back to probably the first time that I talked to you guys, the, I said I love football for two reasons. One is that automatically when you sign up for it, you become part of something that's greater than yourself. And two is that, you know, it really kind of relates closely to life. You know, like we, we all have experiences where you, where you get knocked down, but I mean, you, you got to move forward and, and keep pushing. And, um, you know, and that's where we're at right now. And that's what we're going to do this week. And we're excited for the challenge coming up. Well, I mean, Well, I, I think you're always constantly critically evaluating, um, you know, everything, you know, meetings, practice, uh, games, calls. Um, but, you know, there are some points that, you know, like the, the other team, you know, they're doing the same thing and, you know, they get paid, you know, to go out there and make plays, make throws, make catches, make runs, you know. Um, but you just don't want to make that uh, situation very easy for them, you know. Sometimes you do have to tip your hat, like, you know, and I mean, I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Hey, that was a great throw. That was a great catch, you know. But, like, again, you don't want to, you know, have somebody run right down the middle of the field, you know, open. So I kind of think that's I, – I, th I think you're always evaluating. I think, you know, the other teams are obviously capable of making plays. We know and understand that. We want to make it as hard as possible for them to make those plays. I wanted to ask you about what Graham has at this point on the staff. How different is it to see him kind of evolve into a, a running back as a player? Well, he, he's always been very good with the ball in his hands. Uh, he's, 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 just strong. he's very strong, uh, and he, he's a very much north and south. Uh, he, he can make you miss, uh, but he's going to run hard, um, you know, and it's, uh, I would say, you know, you've seen him used in multiple different, um, I would say, phases over the years with different teams, and Atlanta seems to have pulled out, you know, the best of all worlds for him in all situations, and, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him that he's enjoying some success, obviously, hopefully not this week, but, uh, you know, uh, he was always great uh, to be around and a, a positive influence on, on the team, uh, the teams that I was on with him. So, you know, happy for his success. You know, like I am with a lot of guys that are on different teams that you've coached or you've had relationships over the years. But obviously when you go and compete against them, you know, uh, you obviously want to beat them. Yeah, I, I think there's a familiarity. You know, and then, you know, ultimately it comes down to, um, you know, 
you know, good execution, putting the guys in the right position to make plays and, you know, and understanding that, you know, that they're going to do multiple things with him for sure. And, um, but, uh, yeah, he, he's, he's definitely had a, you know, you turn on the film, you know, he shows up. He's definitely had a good year for them, and he's going to be in every spot imaginable. So, um, you know, uh, it's a lot for us to prepare for this week. Yeah, which I, you know, I think they have they have multiple guys, um, you know, that they use. Like you'll see them split their fullback out. You'll see them split, you know, they'll use their tight ends as receivers. You know, not just Pitts. They'll use Hurst as a receiver. Um, they make it very difficult with their scheme and their balance of to be able to put those guys in position. You know, like I said, Arthur Smith has done a phenomenal job. Uh, with those guys and, you know, it make, makes it tough for you. And that's why I said, you know, like we're excited for the challenge this week and, uh, you know, it, it's going to be a good one for us. put your head down and you go to work and you know I think he's given us all a good example of that and um, you know and that and that's that's what you got to do you know it's it's no different than you know you, you you're presented a challenge in you know everyday normal life you know you, you can't run around it you got to run through it and you got to you know just keep working and you know and you know and I would say just believe in the process and, you know, and then you're always, like I said earlier, you're always going to be critical of everything you're doing. And if there's a way to make it better, you know, we'll seek that. Or if there's a way to change something, we'll seek that. Um, so I think that's that's the process. And I think that's the mentality of, you know, like, it's, you know, OK, you know, th th there's a lot of fight and a lot of people in this organization and they're, they're going to come in, they're going to work. And, um, you know, and we're going to put our best effort and our best foot forward, moving forward.